gonna start recording and I'll be like, I forget. Um, yes, hi. Okay, so I was just sitting here. Woo! Okay, I'll be right here. See, I feel more better. I feel much better. So, I and I have met this brother through Lyme and Cheetah Society and through teaching for the last couple of years or so through the internet. And uh, he came out here to help us with the project KRV, um, a small community radio station kind of doing common unity, enrichment, and education, really trying to spread the Rastafari message just in the communities. And he's been talking about you guys since you, I dreamed since I met you, and since I met him. And, uh, you know, I just want to see, he was talking about um, the group, and I understand you're the group is made out of the seeds, the tribal seeds. Mm -hmm. I two brothers, right? It's you and your yeah, brother? Yeah, myself and my brother, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, um, I know it's cheesy. How, um, I know probably all these other, at this is going to be for our radio station, our okay. care of the radio station. The important thing of why we're doing this is to utilize community radio as, a, and this community radio station as a, a center where we can bring producers in. I want to eventually make a recording studio. I'm not from Al I'm not from Northern California. I'm actually from Albuquerque, New Mexico, and okay. I know you probably have a big following there. And we do a lot of community things, which I personally think the reason why New Mexico is so community oriented and politically aware and artistically expressive is because of the Mexican and the native indigenous. and all that indigenous, yeah, yeah that indigenous flavor. Sure. Coming up here in Northern California, it's fairly different being right. in little rural areas. They really are pocketed in rural, you right. know. And I think people of color and people who have sympathy for people of color are kind of stuck and don't really have a voice, you know, and don't even have a way to create that. Other than places like this, when you guys come out and you kind of see like a mod posh of those independent right. minded and everybody coming together. I just saw like it's just a whole array of people at your show and I'm sure that that's the way it is worldwide, right? Yeah, we usually get a, a good diverse crowd. Yeah. You know, so. And I just want to ask, as a young person, going back, I mean, I don't know if you ever thought or saw yourself at this at this level. Now, I've heard your music. I've actually listened to your music and there are so many like scriptural messages behind it, like in terms of the true Tawahado, you know, Rastafari way. So I just want to know a little bit about your background, what influences you, what you hope to do with this music, where do you, you know, just as the conversation, you know, yeah. as the Holy Spirit, Ruha Kadesh, guides us. Well, like uh, I said, uh, it started with me and my brother growing up in San Diego, and we grew up going to reggae shows. Um, there's a spot called the World Beat Center run by Makeda Dredd. And she's been in the reggae business for a long time. She's worked with Bob Marley, mm -hmm. like everyone that you could think of in the reggae industry she's worked with. So we grew up going to her events, her concerts. She would do Bob Marley Day Festival at the San Diego Sports Arena. Mm -hmm. It was a big reggae festival where they would have the reggae legends come through from Jamaica, like all the names that you could think of, wow. Bernie, Bernie Spear, Alpha Blondie. Mm -hmm. So we grew up going to these these concerts and events. And, and um, so I think naturally we just developed a love and a passion for the music and the message you know yeah. um growing up listening to bob talking about stories from the bible and mm -hmm. and the, the beliefs of, of rastafarians you know um it really had an impact on us and it, it's what really made my family kind of go into learning about the bible and spirituality through reggae music wow okay because we kind of related to that you know it wasn't um you know, like churches, churches and whatnot can kind of put off like a bad kind of image sometimes. Mm -hmm. Like, not all churches are bad. I go to church myself, mm -hmm. but um, but uh, we really connected to that kind of roots, like drum. You know, down to the earth. You know, real natural. The dreads, the you know, the whole Nazarene. Like, you know, that's why they wear the locks and whatnot. Mm -hmm. You know, we kind of connected with that. So um, it influenced the music for us. Mm -hmm. um, going to Midnight show, the band Midnight from yes, St. Croix, uh, that, that band is what really inspired us to start a band. Wow. Yeah, going to their concerts, coming home, we're like, okay, we're going to start a band. Wow. You know? It was actually our dad that came up with the name Tribal Seeds. Wow. 
and um, he Great helped us write band. our first song. And Which was what song was that? It was called Tribal Seeds. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, yeah, I love that song. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it talks about the twelve tribes of Israel. Yes, that's a very deep song. You know, um, okay, you know, that song. Okay, we've utilized because uh, we're an artist above many things, but we're we're teachers. Well. That's what we focus mainly. But that song, Tribal Seeds, is very deep and and. Um, it's a blessing we've utilized without permission, I do confess, I admit, you know, and <laughs> be it the will of the most high, we'd be pardoned in, in Christ as yes, we are. But we haven't made no you money know. out of it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It's because you, um, just, uh, educational purposes. I guess it's no point going into that deal, but it, it, it reflects the prophetical aspect of Christ Jesus going through that experience. And now who can relate to that people? Who manifests that history? Who, in, in, and, you know, the Egyptians used to say that the West was death, because that's what, where the sun came from. You know, and the peoples that inhabited this area, as well as the people brought over as one people, you know, and um, in spirituality, you know, but confused through, through deception and stuff like that. We got to a point where we were out of control, but the scriptures by that time made it for that, the thing that was necessary for the people that had become lost, so that the, the, the chastisement necessary to bring it forth. And that song we utilized in a, in a, prophetic passion of the Christ, the tribulation mm -hmm. of of black men in America, you know, and the indigenous people, which is one people in spirit, you know, mm -hmm. a people that were capable of, of um, recognizing one God and um, uh, maintaining a relative peace, a people mm -hmm. that is tribal, people that, even though the skin of the color cannot be, it cannot point to you what people we're talking about, but the actions and the spirit that one manifest is. Yep. And so it's the same people now now captured or, or stuck in this um, military, no, not military, but um, prison industrial complex. And so we did a uh, uh, redoing of the Passion of the Christ, biblically accurate. We've made sure we studied enough to, to and that's what we do anyways. So, uh, He's so, always but, downstairs but, um, studying. Reflects, <laughs> reflect the, the spiritual, the, the, the black man, you know, Judas betray the homie, homies flee. They leave the innocent one up. Babylon, these these jokers, you know, that, that have turned a good thing into a bad misinterpretation of what should be good for the people. And then, you know, they, they he goes through the arrest process. You know, they betray him. They beat him up. They give him, it's Rodney King beating, you know, the Christ. You know, they yeah. mock him. And then he sent through the, the tribulation of many of us in Latin America and, and North America, the, the going to prison and then um, court trials, the whipping. It, and then the the change of garments into your your prison suit, your 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 sentence. You know, he was a criminal. He was like one of us and stuff right, like that. Right. So we have utilized that song because because this is a very key band because uh, this is this is a band that's reflecting the the message as as best as we've been able to receive it as a people. And we appreciate love and it's a blessing that you have received it to this point. But you're like a connector to where. Um, teachings of his majesty and not one people is superior to another but we as a people that can unite spiritually it's through ones as the I self yes, I. that bring a different image it's but true. one message mm -hmm. and so I utilize it because I'm 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 a I'm a member of the Lion of Judah Society a nonprofit organization churchical you know deriving authority from the Ethiopian World Federation which is majesty established so thus we're recognized internationally in you know, once we get our paperwork to the highest degree possible, right? But my, my key position in, in, in the whole works is to be that mediator, having the American experience, but then being able to connect to a people that is lighter in skin tone right. uh -huh. and that speak a different language. So I teach the peoples in Latin America and anywhere where they find themselves dispersed, that lost sheep now found, House of Israel, you know, um, so that they could receive the message in Spanish, which, could, which is a very influential language and very much you. And so, and it's, it's, I introduced the eyes band and stuff like that because it gives an opportunity yeah. for us to not only be act, not historically Christian, but actively in that we can't come together. And even though we think we sing it in theory, we can't put it to practice. So your band is very important in that it's like, it's a Hispanic group of people and, and yeah. mixed native people. And, and from this kind of people, <clears throat> this, True. And so we're colors. that, you know, I utilize the eyes band as like, um, the kind of like coming together. Yeah, and so I, I do want to say that it's a humanity. blessing because not too many people in this world can receive a message and from what I hear in, in the lyric it just enriches my soul to see that that some 
of us can can come to receive that message and spread it in such a way that you do. So anything that you do is positive and it's a blessing. We should love it uh, very much. We have our ministry. Yeah, I keep on doing your ministry. Keep right. the church going and keep those minds positive and in, in all ways, shape, and forms. And that, you know, just encourage me for it. Because y'all have to receive something to be able to write. Yeah, what you write. he's like, yo, these he's just like, yo, they're prophets because we're sitting here listening and understanding. And again, he says that you know, it was this band that helped him to kind of come known, to the full. I've known um, Victor for for a long time. Okay. But I've always been that kind of person that I don't want nothing to do with church and religion and stuff like that. Right. But when truth, because when the light shines even in darkness, one has to step up and receive the teachings in fullness. Now right. there's still a lot to do because there's half of the story not told. But I just think it's an honor to be to, to just hear that that ones can reflect it. So many things, Smokey and Nick Rasta, you know. But it is written in Kebra Yeah. You know, glory of the kings of Ethiopia. And so there's we fill in the gap of education, but no doubt it's ones as yourselves that bring them yeah. through the music. Bob Marley That's said true. this music's so big, but this is his idea of big. It's gonna reach to whom it pertains. Right. And last time I was meditating on Del Dolls Dancing, you know, I listen to song, and I'm always curious how far are you in it in Rastafari? Have you been able to overcome the deception of one representing a beast, not in that a color of a people makes a people less, but in, 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 in not showing the characteristics to the likeness and image of his creator and walking a straight line. So that whole 2,000 years of, of pinning sin upon the cross of him that has not committed them, has worked but so I'm always interested and then I'm tripping out that years later before I was even called to this ministry um, I'd be hearing with my homie downtown Calexico you know like hearing dolls dancing and it wasn't until a few months ago a few weeks ago uh -huh. when I've been pushing you know it, it, it's just in the spirit I didn't know the eye was gonna play here and stuff like that but just pushing travel seeds getting you yeah. know because we do our ministry it's international so big thing as well wow. so so um I'm thinking like I hear the song again and I hear, you know, Conquer Lion, take your throne. I won, I won, and I mean it has it, it has been made manifest. Conquer Lion, Tribe of Judah, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. But then I heard teaches us Yeshua, Yehoshua, you know, which is the in, in long in long version of Yeshua. Right. But it's still far more accurate and powerful than yes. even a Jesus. And that's still fine because if that's the that's the Jesus, Isis, Isis, you know, right. Yeshua, Yehoshua, it right. makes no difference. But if, if the spirit or the fruit of the tea, of the tree reflect that that man, then it's fine. And so it's it's a real yeah. honor. I mean, just to hear yeah, that to incorporate yeah. Yeshua also in the song "Warning." I heard the the person that was singing with with along with it. to me that yeah. means the world. The sunny from Peter. Oh my yeah. God. He said, you Boy, know, bless up the Almighty Yeshua. And so to me that's a that's a, a, a mark, a clear distinction of maturity. And so I would just encourage that to the fullness. Because you're doing a will that is is oh. is bigger than, than we could no, comprehend. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You need to get some rest. So I need to show up. Okay. <laughs> no man, well, that was awesome dude. Well, like we left the book. We just yeah, published the book. Yes, yes, Shamu right. has it. Yes, um, it's a very important book. I would recommend, with time, I'll, I'll, I'll hook it up so that, that each one can get a copy and stuff like that, but because I haven't even released it, the website's been on the works and stuff like that, and right now I'm um, waiting word from our Rebbe because most of my orders are going to be international. They're going to be from south of the border because of, of my ministry work. So I need to make sure I get the, the, all the, the little details so that I don't fail on my people that, that want a copy of the book. But it's yeah. a coloring book. Yeah, it's, it's called beautiful. Try Him, Try Every Spirit, it says in First John, or in John's epistle. So it's like, try him, pruebalo. So it's got, it's it's in English and in Spanish. It's it's two books, one English, one Spanish, and, and but in the same same um, uh, Order? presentation. Mm -hmm. No, same presentation, same mm -hmm. book. Mm -hmm. And um, it's something that I'd like um, for once to take a look at. Hey, if you're not feeling it, it's fine. You know, Maybe all, that can help inspire us, and you know what we really do want to just really want to collaborate and work <laughs> with you guys. You know, I like I said, we are from New Mexico. It, it's it's uh, it's hard to see youth in this community and the other that could use Rastafari message, and then we have a lot of Rastafari youth. 
-hmm. in a way, and parents. And I really think the movement's important, and we hope that, you know, I hope later on we can work together, you know, and you can help us, you know, help this community, you know, yeah. to bring uh, You guys it. are doing great work, so. Well, John's doing great work, so this one is glad to meet you yeah, guys. We appreciate love the time. I know yeah. I went off, but it was things that not. Yeah, not no, that, was, that was awesome. Yeah, it was things that, that others needed to hear. You know, we and might not friend, be receptive yeah. at all times, but the, but the word that is a spoken word and that is good before his his yeah. conscious, my conscious, and our conscious, that then it'll it'll sprout because his word don't come back empty. It's yeah. And we gotta keep on. So you know, so that kingdom. The energy. <laughs> and you're so beautiful and part of this kingdom consciousness. I seriously so, was like zoned out. Up, like, up. gracias. Yeah. yeah that's a Miss Ghana. We've seen exactly, that part. Miss Ghana. I was really in the, you know, being the Shabbat. I was really in a good. This was a really good Shabbat festival for the eye. Like it was really deep. The last song that you sang. What was that? I was really it's like a love song. Yeah. She, she liked yeah. the drumming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really I love the words. What, are the, what is that song? What is it? It's a beautiful song. Yeah, it's uh, when we're together, it's like we're living in a love psalm. Oh, a love yeah. psalm? A love psalm, like. Uh huh. Now, you, no, no, I want to say hi. And what's your name? Because you're a great backup or front singer, too. And uh, can I get a shout out? From, yeah, and you know, I'm going to need some. Yo, this is such and such and tribal <laughs> seeds, and you're listening to <laughs> Newbie and Me. That. Okay, that's just what you got. You're listening to what? Oh, you, um, I said Newbie and Me. You listen to KROV. Yeah, you can give it to KROV. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, KROV 91.1. And, and uh, my nickname mm -hmm. is Newbie and Me, but you know, whatever. Yes, I. KROV 91.1 FM. 